Hello students, now we are going to solve uh, examples when mean is given and we have to find the unknown value of P. Here P is unknown, so we have to find the value of P. In exam, they can give X or T, so we have to here find the value of P. So here mean of this distribution is given 6 and we have to find the value of P. So X is given 2, 4, 6, 10. P plus 5 and Fi is given 3, 2, 3, 1, 2. So here first we have to write in tabular form that is Xi and Fi. So this is Xi, Fi and Fi Xi. So Xi is given 2. 4, 6, 10 and P plus 5, F5 that is 3, 2, 3, 1 and 2. Now we have to find F5 SM. So we have to multiply this 2 into 3, 6, 4 into 2, 8, 6 into 3 that is 18. 10 into 1, this is 10 and p plus 5, we have to multiply by 2. So this 2 multiply to both terms, p and 5. So 2 into p, that is 2p and 2 into 5, that is 10. So 2p plus 10. Now we have to find summation fi x. So summation fi x, that is addition of all this. So 6 plus 8, 14. 14 plus 18 that is 14 plus or we can take here 14 plus 10 that is 24 24 plus 8 32 32 plus 10 42 and this is 10 so 42 plus 10 52 and this 2p we have to write as it is so 2p plus 52 so some summation f x and that is 2p plus 52 and after that summation f i so summation f i that is 3 plus 2, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9 plus 2, that is 11. Now we have to find value of P and here mean is given 6. So x bar is equal to summation f i x i upon summation f i. So 6 is equal to summation f i x i that is 2p plus 52. So 2p plus 52 upon summation f5 that is 11. So 11 into 6, this is 66 is equal to 2p plus 52. So 2p is equal to 66 minus 52. So this is 2p is equal to 14. So p is equal to 7. So value of p is equal to 7. Okay, next example find the frequencies, find the missing frequencies in the following frequency distribution. If it is known that the mean of the distribution is 1.46. Now, in previous example, only one unknown is there. Now, here two unknowns are there. So, here question mark is given. We in when we write in tabular form, we have to write here any two variables x and y or f1 and f2. So, first we have to write this data in tabular form so this is xi this is fi and we have to find fi xi now here summation fi is given that is 200 so first we have to write xi that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 fi that is 46 here we can write any two variables here I am taking x and y so x y then 25 10 and 5 and if I say first we have to find 0 into 46 this is 0 1 into x this is x 2 into y this is 2y 25 3 is 75 
फोर इंटू टेन फोर्टी एंड फाइव इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव Now here total is given 200, but here when we find this sum, so summation f y is equal to 46 plus x plus y plus 25 plus 10 plus 5. So first we have to find this 25 plus 5. This is 30 plus 10, 40, and then 46 means 86 plus x plus y. So 86 plus x plus y. This is summation f i. Summation f i x i. This is seventy five plus twenty five. That is hundred. And this is forty. So one forty plus x plus two y. So summation f i x i is one forty plus x plus two y. Now here summation f i is given two hundred. And here from table. We will get summation f y that is 86 plus x plus y. So we can equate that. So x summation f y is equal to 200. This summation is 86 plus x plus y is equal to 200. So x plus y is equal to 200 minus 86. So x plus y is equal to 140. So this is equation one. Now, by using mean, we will get equation two. So x bar is given 1.46. So x bar is equal to summation f i x i upon summation f i. So 1.46 is equal to summation f i x i that is 140 plus x plus 2 y divided by summation f i. Now you can take this summation f i also 86 plus x plus y, but here already summation f i is given 200, so here I am taking directly 200. So if you multiply this 140 1.446 multiply by 200, that is 292 is equal to 140 plus x plus 2y. So if we shift here, we will get equation is x plus 2y is equal to 150. Two. This is equation two. Now, if we solve equation one and equation two, so here I am solving this two. So if we subtract directly to equation, so x plus two y is equal to one fifty two, and subtracting this two equation minus x plus y is equal to hundred and forty. So if we subtract this two, sign will be changed here. So plus x minus x will get cancelled. Two y minus one is equal to y, and this one fifty two minus hundred and fourteen. So this is equal to thirty eight. So y is equal to thirty eight, and if we put y is equal to thirty eight in any one equation, so x plus y is equal to hundred and fourteen. Here I am taking this first equation. So x plus thirty eight is equal to 114. So x is equal to 114 minus 38. So x is equal to 76. So missing frequencies are 76 and 38. Okay. Next example. The arithmetic mean of following frequency distribution is 14. So here mean is given. We have to find value of k. So same example. This solve. But in that case, unknown variable is in x r. Here, unknown variable variable is in f r. So we have to find value of k. Same procedure we have to do here. So here x r is given five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. F r is given seven, k, eight, four, five. We have to find now f i x i. So f i x i is this is thirty five. Ten into k, so ten k. Fifteen eights are one twenty. This is eighty, and twenty five fives are one twenty. Now we have to find summation f i and summation f i x i. So summation f i is this is seven plus eight fifteen plus five twenty plus this four. So twenty four. Plus k 
k and here this is 120 plus 80 200 and 125 plus 5 130 160 so 200 plus 160 that is 360 plus 10k so 360 plus 10k this is summation fixr now we have to find value of k so here arithmetic mean is given 14 so x bar is equal to summation f i x bar divided by summation f i so x bar is 14 given so 14 is equal to summation f i x size 360 plus 10 k so 360 plus 10 k divided by summation f i is 24 plus k so if we shift this side 14 into 24 plus k is equal to 360 plus 10k so 14 into 24 that is 336 plus 14k is equal to 360 plus 10k so 14k minus 10k that is 4k and 360 minus 336 that is 24 so 4k is equal to 24 k is equal to 6 so this missing frequency is 6